The Wood family, Greg and Lola, as well as their son Chris, have raised cattle in eight different states. But the Woods have always felt a special attachment to their home state of Iowa. So they moved back in 1996 to start Bittersweet Acres, a purebred Angus seed stock and commercial hay operation. Both Lola and I grew up here. Uh, been married for 43 years. And uh, this is where we started and we came back. Growing up all over the country, we've run into a lot of different practices of taking care of the ground. I enjoy walking out and seeing healthy cows, healthy ground, healthy environment. Bittersweet Acres is a rare sight in the rolling hills of the Hawkeye State. That's because the Woods made the decision to continue as a forage-based operation, despite increasing pressure to convert to row crops. We enjoy raising forage. Uh, I guess it's just been something that over the years we've really it's a challenge to us to get a little bit more out of that. And it's just been a natural fit because with the way this row crop deal's gotten, it's pretty competitive in this part of the world. And we, we just decided to pick a little niche instead. The Wood family works hard to maintain the land and the cattle. They've implemented a grazing plan that provides an optimal balance of grass condition and carrying capacity while still meeting the herd's nutritional requirements. As a result, weaning weights have increased by 10 to 15 percent and carrying capacity by 25 percent. The great thing about the rotational grazing deal is these cows always have some fresh forage. But we've been able to steadily increase our weaning weights and uh, that's without using any creep feed. It's just with forage management. We raise cattle, but you have to raise grass first to raise these cattle so they can perform for you. The quality of the grass on these pastures has substantially increased just by looking at it because these hillsides 10, 15 years ago weren't growing what we have now. The Wood family worked with NRCS to install a solar powered continual flow pump. This ensures the cattle have a dependable water source year round and keeps the cattle away from the creek to prevent erosion. We have a solar project we put in with the assistance of an EQIP program that's been in our pasture system for going on 15, 16 years. It's different from everybody else's. It's not a stock tank filled. It runs continuously. I'd say our rotational grazing combined with our, our water system, the fresh water makes a big difference. It's just been a, a super savings. It, it saves us on our versus just having them drink all raw water. It would save us uh, over $200 a month on water savings cost versus using rural water. So it, it's just really great to see Bittersweet um, being able to make a, a profitable operation uh, and, and maintain the resource that we have here. They've been just an excellent role model over the, over the years. Uh, they've, they've got a long-term commitment to, to the beef industry and just done an excellent job on their own operation here. The gates at Bittersweet Acres are always open to people that want to learn more about stewardship, including other cattle producers who want to improve their conservation practices. The name Bittersweet comes from the family's belief that they've been able to make it through both the good times and the bad. But they admit working with family has brought them nothing but joy. I'd say from a father-son relationship, it's been wonderful. It's a partnership. Uh, it's just a great deal to do from a family standpoint. If we can do a lot of things together and have and plan on continuing doing it that way. You know, I moved home a year after my folks did. Family's everything to move home for. I work with my dad every day. Yeah, family's why I came home. The Wood family knows the stewardship practices they implement today will ensure Bittersweet Acres is around for many generations to come. I think without a doubt that that's probably one of the biggest things that we're doing is to have this to be uh, sustainable for Chris to have it and future generations to go on with it and, and continue to be a profitable, workable deal. And uh, we're not the biggest deal in the world, but you know, we try to do it right. We want to make it better than when we got it. You know, most people would say, oh, we want to grow, we want to get bigger. No, I want to get better. Better genetics, 
better taking care of the ground. I believe in quality over quantity. <laughs>